There's a lot of noise coming from the quiet backwoods of Industry Maine. A lot of people said, you're crazy. Never going to happen. Manufacturing's dead. That was four years ago. Today, Pete Roberts is proving in this shop manufacturing is very much alive. A former jiu-jitsu champion himself, it was during his years of competing and wearing the sports apparel that opened his eyes to the need, he says, to modernize the age-old gi. And so we developed a new textile um, that we were able to make lighter and stronger um, and more resilient, um, abrasion resistant, moisture wicking, and then we, we injected silver into it to make it antimicrobial. So we just pushed it to the next level. The work is currently done inside this 8,000 square foot timber frame factory, which Roberts built in 2012. The equipment all rescued from other closed down mills and refurbished. But all of this, Roberts touts, is just the beginning. I tell people, oh, if we're climbing a mountain, we're just getting out of the car, you know. That's where this brand is going to be. While the origin brand began with the popular gi, it's now grown to include a line of t-shirts, sports bags, even nutritional supplements. And as of this very week, the launch of a new sports performance underwear product. We're starting to break into new markets. Um, specifically, we're looking to get into compression apparel for football and lacrosse and other athletics. Roberts does promise no matter how big this company gets, it will forever remain small town. A local who grew up in nearby Farmington, he's proud to wear Crafted in Maine on his sleeve. And literally, so too will so many others. It's really what we've built this brand off of, you know, it's, it's the foundation of, of every, all of our marketing, everything we say, all of our sales materials, it's, it's based on the foundation of this community. Roberts says the company is currently looking at a 23,000 square foot facility, which will allow it to expand its production and employ even more people in the Franklin County area.